In this video, I want to give you a quick overview of the skyscraper puzzle in the puzzle generator and how you can make the most of the features on offer to you. Now, the first thing you want to do is create a blank slide in PowerPoint. So that means if you do have any text boxes on here, please delete them before continuing. And then just make sure we're on puzzle generator here. And then we're going to choose trim size. So in this example, I'm going to go for 8.5 by 11. And then we we'll select puzzles and then skyscraper here. Now, our first option here is to add a game explanation or how to. This is just a, you know, a quick text description of how to play the puzzle. You can edit the text here if you want. And then if you want to add it, tick this little box here. If you don't, untick it and then click continue. Now our first option here is to choose the color of our font. Now, if you're publishing for KDP, you're most likely going to use black or gray. Our next option here is our uh, font and our font formatting. You have a choice here of all the ones, all the fonts you have in Office or all the fonts that you've added to the um, export tool. I'm just going to leave on the default for this example. Here you have the grid title. So that's what appears above every puzzle. So you can change this or translate this if you wish. So as it's skyscraper, it'll be skyscraper one, skyscraper two, three, four, and so on. Our next option here is to start the number in that. Now, by default, you'll want this on one, um, but if you're um, splitting up the creation of your puzzles, for example, you're creating 20 of them, and then you want to create another 20 later, this gives you the option then to start your numbering at 21, for example. And next option here is for the title font size. And you can select it here. I'm going to leave on the default 18. And our next two options here are the grid dimensions and difficulty. In a way, they go um, hand in hand as well. I mean, obviously, the bigger the grid, the more challenging a puzzle will be. And obviously, the harder the difficulty level you choose will make the puzzle harder by removing clues around the outside. Um, for now, let's just go for 6x6 six six and let's go for very easy. Our page number here basically says how many pages worth of puzzles do we want to create. So if I just do 5 for this example. Our next option in here is how many grids per page. It's how many puzzles do we want per page. If I do 6 for this example. Our next option here, which is um, pretty essential if you're publishing on KDP, is to add a left and right margin. You can go anywhere from 0 to 1 with this. I'll just add a 3 quarters of an inch margin. And our next option here, the hide, gives you the ability to hide the titles and levels, just the titles or just the levels. Now, what I'll do is I'll come back to that later. Uh, let me just generate these puzzles for now. As you can see, this the first page is always the slowest because it has to create the tables, whereas in the next pages it already has the tables and it's just changing the puzzle. Now, once our puzzles are created, you may look at them and think, well, 
I want to change the, the formatting a little bit. So what you can do, for example, if you want to move these inwards, is select all of these like this and up here to the distance I'm just going to do 0.3 and click to the right and then if we do the same for this side and then go 0.3 but this time to the left now what this does this will apply your formatting across all of your slides so you only need to do it on the one and all the way through your changes will reflect like so now another useful option after your puzzles are generated is to change the font size or styling for example here our um, our levels are very very small very small text so what we can do if we select them do this on the first slide we select them and then click change individual fonts and then we can choose a size here to make it bigger. So let's go for a 16. Click OK. And again, this applies all the way through on your puzzles. And what you can do is you can just um, use the move tool for any shapes you want so because these are a bit close now if we move them up and then we move our difficulties up there we go and then that's just a quick example of how you can format your puzzles. Now, a lot of people ask, how do you do more than six solutions per slide or more than six puzzles per slide? Now, what we can do for that is we can use the bulk import and exports tools here and also use the high title level feature I mentioned earlier. So to do this, just going to delete all our slides here and then what we're going to do we're going to choose a square trim size here so say 8.5 8.5 we're going to go back into the skyscraper puzzle and then we're going to take off the add left and right margins and i'm going to hide the titles and levels on this one and then we're going to choose one grid per page like this and I'm going to do um, so 20 puzzles, just for an example. Very easy, 4x4. Four four. Yep, everything else is great. So click OK. Wait for them to generate. Almost there. And then what we're going to do is um, click here, the export slides as PNG. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the puzzles first. So 1 to 20. Got puzzles. I'm going to keep the quality the same and then 
I'm going to go to C, so I have a quick folder, call it Skyscraper, and in here, Puzzles, and then I'm going to wait for it to export. And then on our, uh, we're going to run that feature again, export slides as PNG again. But this time I'm going to do 21 to 40 as this is a solutions. Again, keep the quality and resolution the same. And then I'm going to go back to C, skyscraper, and I'm going to create a folder, call that solutions. Click OK and then wait for that to export. Now, once that's exported, what you want to do is just delete all of these slides, add a first slide, delete these placeholders, and then we're going to choose our actual book size that we want to create for KDP. So I'm going to go for 8.5 by 11, and then we want to click on bulk import images here. And then we're going to do our puzzles first. Now, as you can see here, we have a much wider range of amount of images or puzzles we can have per slide here, from one all the way up to 20. So in this example, I'm going to go for eight puzzles per slide, put puzzle above. See, this is why I hid the um, title in the um, skyscraper settings, it's because I can set the title here as well. Now down the bottom we have the option for margins and spacing. Typically I'll just tick attempt to optimize spacing because this keeps this all uh, tightly knit together. So once you've done all that, we'll click OK. And then we can see our puzzles. Eight per slide. And then now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to rerun the bulk import this time with the solutions and with the image per slide this time I'm going to do 20 change this to solution keep everything else the same and then just click OK to run it and as you can see here I also now have 20 solutions per slide now this tool gives you a lot of flexibility um, to how many puzzles and solutions you want per slide, much more than the default settings in the puzzle generator. So I hope this quick video helps you get started creating skyscraper puzzles. Thanks for watching.